Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Right, so um, I had an opportunity to speak with Ro Parrish last year about uh, your contributions of uh, in, in the industry. I just wanted to get your thoughts uh, thoughts on that. Well, it's been a journey. Um, in the beginning, it was hard because you know there weren't a lot of women in sports broadcasting. There are more now than there were then, but I still think we have a, a ways to go. Um, there are still times where I might be an oppressor and look around and be the only woman, which is kind of ridiculous because it's 2023. Um, I will say it happens less often, but it still does happen. Um, but it's been fun. You know, I have been really, really fortunate to stay close to the game that I love. I've loved basketball for as long as I can remember. And playing and coaching was one thing, but this is another opportunity where I get to help other people fall in love with the game. So I think that's why I'm so passionate about it. And then final question, Chris, Kristen Letlow uh, said that you and Ernie Johnson are mentors of hers. Aww. I just want to get your response to that. That's really sweet of her to say that. Um, Kristen's amazing. She has accomplished a lot. Um, and you know, it's, it's nice to have someone that you trust in this industry that you can use as a sounding board that you can, uh, vent with, um, Kristen, you know, she doesn't need much mentoring, so to speak. Um, but it is always good to have someone that you can bounce things off of. And, uh, Kristen is one of those people that I do trust in this industry and that I am really, really honored to call her a friend. Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop.